Greetings, dear friends. I present to your attention the most common malfunctions and breakdowns that occur on the Mercedes-Benz M-Klasse. There are practically no complaints about the brake system. The calipers do not sour, the discs run for a long time, the original pads have quite a decent resource. Unless they are afraid of successfully aggressive traffic and can catch fire when driving on a racetrack in a car with a powerful engine. Failures on the part of ABS, ESP systems are mainly related to either the failure of the steering wheel position sensor or corrosion of the hub races, which can cause numerous system errors. Suspicions are of two types, conventional spring and pneumatics. The pneuma has an image of a particularly troublesome and unreliable thing and even very expensive to repair. But now, in practice, the prices of parts are not that high. A pneumatic hose with replacement cost less than 15,000 rubles, and the cross-country ability of a car with pneumatics is still noticeably higher. Although opinions differ about comfort, everything is not so obvious here. The suspension design is generally quite reliable. With careful operation, up to runs of 100 of 1500, the main components, such as levers and shock absorbers, hold very firmly. On cars with low-profile tires, the resource is less, even with purely urban use, but nevertheless higher than that of passenger cars under the same conditions. Many suspension components are replaceable, and components such as upper arm at the front have learned to be restored by cutting in a new ball joint. On machines with a spring suspension, the springs in the rear are in the risk zone. Their lower coils often break off, and with pneumatics at the rear, working conditions are just easier than that of the front. The condition of the cylinders on the front axle is usually worse. A very expensive compressor of the system will fail only if you do not pay attention to constant leaks in the system, a battery that has been pumped due to its operation in a parking lot and similar signs. To extend the compressor life, remember to replace the silico gel desiccant insert every two years. Of course, pneumatics are as a whole noticeably increase the number of breakdowns. For example, the level control system also malfunctions and has wear parts, the electronics add to the hassle. To achieve the design life, the pneumatics must be regularly washed in the top position. All these are also expenses and troubles, albeit insignificant. And there always will be a risk of wreckage in the most incredible situation. But do not give up cars with pneuma just because they sat in garages. The resource of wheel bearings is below average, sometimes they serve less than 50,000 km. High machine weight, low rubber profile, long overhand and heavy load on the hubs do their dirty work. The steering on the W164 is relatively troublesome. The main reasons for capriciousness lie in the use of white rubber, a weak system radiator and a weak power steering pump. After a run of 100,000 or more, the pump no longer operates at full capacity and often winds slightly. Its leakage resource is greatly reduced, and they often happen due to over overheating of the tubes. The very small area of the power steering radiator, the tube segment in front of the radiators, increases the operating temperature of the system too much, which means the wear of the old rubber elements. Replacing the high-pressure power steering pump with a cheaper one with low pressure from passenger models leads to a slight heavier steering. The rail itself is quite reliable, but if the pump holds, then it delivers debris to the system, which usually leads to the appearance of leaks in the oil seals of the rail itself. The same debris often clogs the filter in the pump reservoir, which gradually worsens the operating conditions of the pump even more and contributes to the rapid wear of the unit. Theoretically, there are real wheel drive versions of the W164. Such were sold in the United States, but they cannot be found in Russia so every car is supposed to have four-wheel drive. The Mercedes ML transmission is completely classic, with a transfer case and a center differential. As options were offered locks of front and rear differentials, as well as the two-stage Rosdatka with a reduction gear. However, most of the cars still do not have these options, and self-blocking at the back is most often a sign of installing some kind of tuning on cars with powerful engines. In principle, the classic design is very, very reliable, but one shouldn't forget that there is nothing eternal. Even on low-power cars with a 3.5-liter gasoline engines, the front propeller shaft will require replacement of the hinge with runs of about 120-150,000 km. The rear one, at least with the same mileage, will ask you to check the crosses and the intermediate support, but there is a direct dependence on the driving style. Driving through mud, of course, greatly reduces the resource, but regular washing and careful handling of the gas pedal can allow you to step over this threshold. Gearbox failures are not uncommon. The front one suffers more often, its bearing can turn due to overheating in the summer, when the bearing fit in the housing is weakened. 
that runs of a case also doesn't last forever. With runs of more than 200,000, the unit requires at least a thorough diagnosis. When inspecting the car, it is imperative to hand it on a lift and spin the wheels with the engine at idle speed. And do not forget to create a load with the brakes and listen to transmission under load and when reversing. At the same time, it is possible to assess the condition of the unit supports visually. The gearbox on the W164 is an uncontested automatic of the 722.9 series in the versions 7G Tronic or 7G Tronic Plus. The restyled version of the box has a different selector, a design optimized for work with start-stop system and, in general, significantly fewer problems in the electrical part. But mechanically and compulsionally, this is still the same automatic transmission. The design of the 7-speed gearbox, which gradually began in 2005 to replace the reliable and familiar 5-step 722.6 from all models, received all the main box's novelties. Firstly, a mechatronic is used here, a unit that combines the electronic and electrohydraulic parts of the box. Secondly, the operating temperature of the box has been significantly raised, and with a leisure moment you can see all temperatures of more than 130 degrees. The gas turbine engine works with even more rigid locking modes, modes and is mainly used as a wet clutch. And of course, the box is lightweight in every possible way. It has a magnesium body, a very light bell and a lightweight mechanical part. Not without fine electronic settings and a rich set of adaptations, which increases the possibilities of electronic diagnostics to almost limitless. The entire automatic transmission for a knowledgeable person is like an open book. The vast majority of faults are perfectly readable by a scanner. Well, about the fact that as a result of a choice of the original kinematic scheme, the box has two reverse gears, you probably know. But this is a sign of all the latest generations of multi-stage automatic transmissions. Unfortunately, the gearbox is the weakest part of the car. In terms of the number of critical failures and warranty repairs, it far surpasses even the most successful gasoline engines of the first years of production. And when buying a Mercedes ML in this body, it is it who would be given at utmost attention. Why did it happen? The W164 was one of the first cars to try on this box. In addition, the CUV has a higher transmission load on average, even when compared to large sedans. Excessive lightning of the box gave rise to such an anecdotal malfunctions and cracks in the bell, the interface element of the box body and the engine. The combination of technologies of different generations of transmissions in one design has led to the presence in the design of the ISM servo drive of the automatic transmission, which is not the most reliable part. The steering column module on cars after restyling also turned out to be not the strongest part and at first often let down. But the bulk of the problems are associated precisely with the automatic transmission thermal regime and the consequences arising from it in the form of harsh operating conditions for mechanics and electronics. I must say right away that the normal operation of the box with a heat exchanger in the main radiator in European versions occurs with a serious excess of the optimum transmission fluid temperature parameters. If the temperature rises above 130-140 degrees, then the wear processes are sharply accelerated. A small external radiator on cars with diesel engines and a gasoline V8M273 hardly helps the situation. But the installation of a larger one from cars with an AMG M156 engine already allows it to be noticeably improved. The units have the hardest part in the traffic jams, where automatic transmissions, like motors, are on the verge of failure. Here we can recommend installing a large external radiator in the flow of the main engine fan. And if at the same time measures are taken to reduce the operating temperature for a gasoline engine, then transmission failures will become less common. Already with runs up to 100,000 km, this box can usually please the wear of the mechanical part. The blocking linings of the gas turbine engine can already be significantly worn out and contaminate the oil with an adhesive layer, and the oil pump cover the separator plate with oil seals require urgent replacement. Also the clutch packs K1 and K2 burn out, perhaps the needle burning in the K2 pack is dying due to overheating of the separator, and if the pressure drop due to wear of the oil pump and contamination of the valve body progresses, then they can completely burn out. Often cars that come to the service just to change the control board are sent to the complete bulkhead of the automatic transmission due to visible serial contaminations and a drop in pressure. True, there are also enough cases of banal divorce for expensive repairs or outright fraud. The most common problem with this automatic transmission is the failure of the ECM, the brain mechatronics. The electronic control board integrates the main control unit, the wiring to the sensors, the sensors themselves, and the solenoid valve bodies. 
Siemens video clearly didn't count on such a temperature regime and constant failures, primarily varying chipping and failures of the input and output shaft speed sensors, became regular. Before styling, cars often went through warranty repairs three to five times to replace these boards. On 7G Tronic Plus boxes, problems also occur, albeit much less frequently. Replacing the board is complicated by the fact that it requires binding with a dealer scanner and firmware via internet. Although new, there is alternative software that allows you to get around this complexity. When repairing an original part, which has recently been widely practiced, bindings are not needed, unless it's worth resetting adaptations. Add to the number of problems oil leakage due to warping of the lower housing cover and high temperature at the old seal of the gas turbine engine and the absence of an oil dipstick, and we'll still get a lot of trouble due to the loss of the liquid level. The lower source of solenoids further increases costs, they are extremely expensive. I think now it is clear why repairs with the replacement of old parts with new ones are often extremely erroneous. Here only spare parts, if desired, can be collected for 200-400 thousand rubles. Masters probably talk about the expenses they paid for the owners of the car. Listen and you will understand what not to do. Now the average price of repairs 722.9 is about 150 thousand rubles. You will be persuaded for this amount and even if your ECM has failed, which can be repaired. And in fact, it costs about 10,000 rubles for work and another 8,000 for a maximum of oil for the box. If your first planetary is dead, clutches and steel discs need to be replaced, the gas turbine engine requires a replacement of linings and half of the solenoids have failed, you run the risk of getting washed second-hand units or your own under the guise of new ones. And a little about the service. Mercedes automatic transmissions are one of the few that require only their oil, and the newer the generation of the box, the more important it is. Oils from the tolerance list to 36.14 are poured into the pre-styling automatic transmission, for example Mobile ATF-134 or Fuchs Titan ATF-4134, and after restyling with oval grooves on the pallet, oil is poured into the boxes from the tolerance list to 36.15. True, the V8 diesel engine uses old oil, and the box works well with it. For a full refueling of the automatic transmission, from 7 to 10 liters of oil are needed, and all indications for a large volume are only for losses when replacing by displacement. In practice, these are unnecessary losses. It is better to just change the oil at least once every 20-30 thousand kilometers in part than once every 60 or not change it at all. And remember, a serviceable box of this service works extremely softly, and the self-adaptation takes place in a couple of trips, so jerks and shocks are not a consequence of the battery running down or something else. Unfortunately, this is how the malfunctions it manifests itself, and it's better to fix it right away, and the neglected nuances in this design means extra tens and hundreds of thousands of first pair parts. Feel free to tweak it. With a stock cooling system for a run of 100,000 around the city, the automatic transmission is usually already done or repaired. Moreover, it is sometimes not very well repaired. But with a good radiator and ATP temperature control at the level of 80-90 degrees, it still doesn't even require replacing the linings of the gas turbine engine, and the number of electronics failures is reduced by an order of magnitude. Moreover, even if the first bell sounded, an external filter and a radiator very often save the situation for a long time. Like automatic transmissions, many ML engines bring to mind the stain the rich also cry. On cars before styling, you can find one really excellent motor of the M1 13 series on the ML500. This was installed until the spring of 2007. It of course also has its drawbacks, besides its similar sleeves and are sensitive to dirty oil, dirty air, poor lubrication and overheating, but such machines have maximum chances to travel 300-400 thousand kilometers without major repairs. Of course, the design with three wells and two candles per cylinder looks strange, but the power of 306 horsepower for 5 liters of working volume it is far from knowing what, but this is really good option with good dynamics and consumption. 3-liter diesel engines of the OM642 series in general are also a reliable piece. But as with any diesel engine, a million nuances are associated with it and an increased chance of getting for repairs. The list of problems with this excellent motor is not at all limited to the adhering nozzles and scale in the exhaust manifolds, a complex pressurization system, a whimsical EGR valve, leaks from the heat exchangers with antifreeze entering the oil and inlet, a whimsical crankcase ventilation system with a slowly and surely spreading membrane, and squeezed old oil seals. It's all the same. 
We'll also add here a small resource of piezo injectors on cars of the first releases in urban operation and intake manifold clogged with carbon deposits and damper breakdowns. Turbines with variable geometry of all powerful engine options are also not kept. If the exhaust temperature is exceeded or poor combustion, they become clogged with soot and the servo drive fails. A particulate filter on the W164 relies on any diesel engine. In addition, remember that any problem with the injectors will certainly lead to cracks on the pistons and in advanced cases and when refueling with sulfurous diesel fuel, the cylinder head will fall into the risk zone. Illiterate tuning exceeding the optimal EGT often kills both pistons and valves. Seizure and wear of the piston group of the engine are found with runs up to 200-300,000 km. In general, for all the reliability diesel with a solid mileage is still a much more risky option. Saving on fuel can end immediately after the first breakdown. In the case of the EML, the diesel is also good because its variants fall into the up to 250 horsepower niche. This allows you to save on taxes at least 25,000 rubles a year. But note this is not at all such a large amount, especially when servicing Mercedes. The 4-liter diesel V8 of the OM629 series is not as demonic as its predecessor in the face of the OM628, but it is not very popular. Of the pluses, we can only know the very quiet operation at low load. But the rest of the 3-liter OM642 is no worse, but they have fewer nozzles, they are simpler in design and a little bit lighter. I will not dwell on the shortcomings of gasoline engines of the M272, M273 series, which are together are most common for the EML W164. Moreover, on this generation of the M-Class, these motors are just in the very first versions, which means they have the greatest number of problems. The seizures of the piston group and a small resource of the timing didn't escape them. On cars after restyling, there are much fewer problems. With very careful maintenance, the motors can run more than 300,000 km without any problems without wear of the piston group, but the chances are small. It is worth buying a car with these engines only with endoscopy. It is advisable to take a block with a well-sealed cast iron block and with modifications to reduce the operating temperature of the engine. Of course, you have to keep the radiators clean and at frequent oil change intervals. But in any case, these motors are still a lottery. Often they end up costing less than diesel ones, but no one will give guarantees and a lot depends on your temperament. The power train on the AMG ML63 versions is the M156 and perhaps all you need to know about it, the Mercedes has been brought to court twice in the United States to satisfy class action claims over the quality of these engines. But with quality care and the availability of funds for your favorite toy, this is an interesting option. The motor has little in common with the usual M273, but it couldn't do without global gems here. Miscalculations with the material of camshafts and pushers and seizures of the piston group are also available for selectivity assembled sports motors. And the limitation of the thermal package puts an end to attempts to get maximum performance in urban conditions in the summer. However, there are many solutions to any problem. As I said, with the availability of funds, this is all solvable. On this information about the problems of the Mercedes-Benz M-Class is exhausted. If you know more or disagree with what you heard, I am waiting for you in the comments.